All right, back here, Lake Norman State Park. I was here, I don't know, two days ago with my neighbor. What's the go? Yeah, Wednesday. And we had hit Mambo again. I don't know if I want to try something new. We're going to do Hawk. I think that this is three miles. Um, but it connects up to a couple others in the back. Norwood and something else. Never done any of these, so. This will probably be a slower video than some of the others. The creaking again. How you doing? This looks kind of like Signal Hill. Another one, um, it's up in Statesville. Rode there one time, then I'll cut my hand out of the Haven't been back since. I don't know if that's my bottom bracket or what. That's super annoying. How you doing? How come I'm going to wait? I don't know. This is kind of weird. It's the second person. There's all this two way. I don't know. I mean, the reflectors are, and the sign markers are, are, are the correct way for me. Maybe there's a two way, I don't know. No, it's fine, yeah, it must be two way.
Hicks Creek is to the right, which would just be this. Oh, and then we come back here. We'll do that. This is just a warm mile. Luke, it comes right back, so. Even. What's confusing me is those rocks that I just went over, they look like I went over them correctly. But if I was coming, if I wanted to go the, back the way I just came, I'd have to hop those. I don't know, it looks like they were one direction to me. And I was going correctly. I'm out back here. Play development. I thought that was a feature. That's a gigantic tree. Huh. That thing's huge. Oh, 
sticking up there. keeping up with some of the videos check my air pressure more and I like them in around 30 um, and I do like the lower handlebars up for climbing and just keeping a little bit more weight over the front but I don't know because I'm using these uh XL size grip for what but and keep going now. It's kind of weird. Okay. Back here. We're going to continue on Hawk. And we'll probably hit Norwood when we're back there. Cool. It's two miles, 12 minutes. Not bad. Yep, 86. Eighty six is not gonna load. Probably feels like ninety out here. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna continue on this way. And then I think we're gonna hit Norwood. We're right at the back section back here. And I've never done any of this. So we will see. I think it's my headset that's creaking. I don't know. Loosen it up when I get home. Tighten it all back up. I might be going to Mount Creek tomorrow. How you doing? Doing pretty good.
have one of my old high school buddies join me tomorrow at uh, Mountain Creek. But it's Labor Day weekend, so it'll probably be slammed. What's going on down there, Chain? What are you doing? I don't even like this granny gear. I mean, you're not even on that granny gear. We're on the third one. Granny gear is like a 52. Oh, that pissed me off. Stop it. Mud. We find the railing a little bit. That, that shift took a long time to actually grab. I need to check my limits. We usually run two clicks on one bow, sometimes three. I feel like that's just too hard for here though. None of this is particularly fast. Sweating on my ball. Hang on. Oh, it's coming up. I don't care if subscribers can see it in 3D. Stop. Strava, you and your stupid paywalls piss me off. Like, why? Do, I don't need this. Why? Are, see? Oh my gosh. Whoever made this app sucks.
this looks like myself, I guess the, this is a trail that I used to hit all the time, but over the past couple months. Uh, there's been like no upkeep on it, so it's been super overgrown. There's a section where there's like tons of poison ivy hanging off of a tree above you. And it hits you in the face. Thorns crossing the trail. I don't really go there anymore. Um, despite the fact that it's the closest trail to my house, but that right there reminded me a lot of a sample. I'll get out there and visit it again sometime, but I don't know, two weeks ago. Norwood Creek. Cool. But like two weeks ago when I went to Mexico, it was just horrible. So I, I just haven't been back. I didn't want to hit that full speed. This is Norwood. What's crazy to me is how different the scenery is here versus Bonbo in there. I don't know. Half mile apart, maybe. Kind of weird. I wonder if this one's two way as well. Who the hell is slick? And for those of you keeping up with the uh, other video, at the very end I mentioned, I was buying another vehicle, Jeep XJ. So that's now the mountain bike. Here we go, here's the split. Even to the left. I didn't end up buying it. I did end up buying it. I already replaced the alternator on it, got a new battery in it. Um, I the heat and the AC worked when we parked it two years ago. Um, that's a lot of vacuum leak to the blender doors and uh, wires to the high pressure switch. The AC system will cut. So I fixed both of those and now it all works. I inspected it. I actually ran out the tag this morning. The DMV was slammed. It's annoying, but it is what it is. That is now the mountain bike transport vehicle. And I also really just ordered a ton of stuff off Rock Auto. Um, exhaust, because the one that's on it looks like it's the factory one from 25 years ago and it leaks like hell. I got a whole new exhaust with a new cat. Um, new brakes all the way around, including new calipers for the front. Because they're probably seized at this point. Of course, they're being seized. Um, what else? Water pump. Stuff like that. I might end up making videos on those, I'm not sure. There's already hundreds of people out here that do XJ builds, so. FedEx should be showing up today with a couple of parts that I need. Some of the crankcase ventilation, elbows, and some vacuum lines and whatnot, but yeah, it runs great. Um, I am actually planning on doing an engine rebuild. It runs fine. Not good. Definitely not great. Um, it just runs fine. Ooh! Root about got me. But, uh, I've uh, rebuilt the Miata engine. Four liter seems even simpler than that. So, I'll probably in the next couple months tackle that because I've already got an engine hoist. It's my brother's. He let me borrow it. Uh, I got an engine stand when I built my Miata engine. And I've got all the tools. Feeler gauges, plastic gauge. Ring grinding tools. You know, all of it. So I will end up building the engine. I probably will end up making videos on that. But 
And I'm talking. Same kind of things with one squirrel. That's kind of why I do this though. It's nice to get outside. It's an exercise. It's peaceful. It's really quiet out here. It is Labor Day weekend. And Mount Creek Park is probably going to be slammed. I don't know if I'm going to record it. People just look at you funny. And you got a big old GoPro strapped to your chest. And I don't really want to have to answer 40 million questions like, you a YouTuber? Man, you must be fast if you got a GoPro. Is that an e-bike? This, that, and the other. Damn, why are you so slow if you got a GoPro on your chest? You know? But, it is nice to catch funny stuff. When it happened, you're not gonna catch it on tape if you're not recording. Because therein lies the dilemma. God, this is rude. Mile on this thing, and I don't know, month and a half. What the hell was that? I don't know, I'll check Strava. I'll put it up. That way, just skip the whole. Oh, that's weird. I'll put it up right now of the actual mileage. I'm also not easy on it either. You know, 25, 30 miles an hour downhill at Mambo with the roots, hasting jumps at Mount Clear Park. I do wash it like every other ride though. And I lube the chain pretty much every ride here before every ride. And definitely after it gets washed, so. Alright, it looks like we're probably getting close to the. I don't know what And then we'll finish off Hawks.
I'm not really gonna cut this one. I'll probably cut out the parts where I'm sitting taking a break. Um, but you guys, would you rather watch a video like this where I'm talking? Or pretty much I'm gonna shut up. Or would you rather watch ones that are more like ASMR where I just don't make a sound? Let me know. Just so you know it's getting serious when I stop talking up. Ooh, here we go. Sharp turn. And that's why it's important to look where look way past where you're going. Going up riding dirt bikes and stuff. That's just kind of stuck with you. I had a street bike for a couple years too. And you want to look through the corner, look to where you want to go. You seem to be looking really far ahead. Don't sit right at your front tire. Not that I'm even remotely quick enough to be giving tips, but. Thumb's going numb. This is quite a long section. I don't know where I'm at, but I want to stop taking a break until we're back at that big rock where the split was. All right, we actually still have a good little bit to go. And then... We'll just take this way back from Hog. Yeah. Take us back down to the normal sign. This is where the sign is. They usually park down here, but... Because when we take Mambo, we hit Hog. All right, so we've still got a good little bit to go on Norwood, and then we'll probably hit this section of Hawk. Take us back to the parking lot. It's hot. Still says 86. I don't have enough signal for it to update, though. Cool. I really want to... One day I'd like to come out here and do uh, all of them. I think that's just shy of 20 miles, which well, that'd probably take me three, four hours. But I'd like to hit all of them in the same day. But before that, I think I should all of them individually like this. Just so I know sort of what I'm getting into. I'll make it back over to Big Leaf in Statesville. So, just have a golf course. The steepest hills I've ever climbed. There's also the most narrow. These are the stock bars. These are super wide bars. I haven't come down or anything, but there are some sections where I probably maybe had half an inch on either side of the bar to hit the tree. It's crazy narrow. I need to bag it back up there. Because when I did it, it was a few weeks ago with my neighbor, and he hated it. It was super slow. And like 90% of it's uphill. But 
But I thought it was cool. Plus, I know my dad would watch that one. This is pretty close to where he works, so. I'm kind of upset Wednesday when I came with my neighbor. We hit Mondo. Um, and I saw the biggest deer I'd ever seen, like riding a bike. I swear I saw the same one three times. And then we were leaving the park. There's two more just standing in the middle of the road. So I bet as it gets colder out here. As it gets colder. Today is September 2nd or something. It's supposed to be crawling with deer. It should be pretty cool. Let's see. I feel like I'm talking too much. This isn't the split. Oh, it is. If I keep going straight, that's the whole other loop. Yeah, we want to go this way. this way because when I went on the trail it told me even and I came out on the left how do I go back left that's also even that doesn't make sense we went this way they should take us back to the lower lot right yes There's Rudy again. Something stuck in my tire, hit my fender. There we go. I don't say that doesn't sound good at all.
on goes to the right. I know that. How you doing? Right at the trailhead, where the sign is. That's weird that the sign back there wanted me to go to the left. For even, even though even sent me there from the left. Why that sign? I don't know. It's weird. Pretty chill one today. We'll check the mileage and get back to the car. Hopefully FedEx stopped by while I was gone. Dropped off my pots. See ya. Yeah.